Hello all, Mike Ranch here. Welcome to the second episode of my FM19 uh, complete playthrough save with Rangers. In the last episode, you saw us get a 4 0 win against Scoopy in our first competitive fixture in the Europa League. And we were also having a look at some potential signings. Today, I'm going to try and get us through to maybe the first game of the uh, domestic season in the Scottish Premiership. But we've got a couple of friendlies in between now and then. We've also got the home tie against Scoopy, which I'm looking forward to playing as well. If the last one's anything to go by, we should absolutely smash it. We've got a bit of an issue, though, in terms of uh, injuries, as you can tell. Not from this one, but uh, at the end of the last episode, we had a really bad one to Alfredo Morelos. And he's going to be out for three to six weeks, which leaves us a little bit light up top. And I need to find a way of getting in another player that might be able to help us fill in because we are a little short on cover, it's fair to say. Uh, I've got a press conference I need to attend to. I always do the press conferences, but by now like, I've literally just got to the stage where I kind of know all the answers to the questions because I recognise the, even the start of the question, so I know exactly where I'm looking and what I need to do uh, and how I like to answer them. What have we got? Uh... I have no complacency fears, apparently, and that's news to me. Uh, we've got a bit of a scout report going on here. I always like to scout out everybody. I'll scout the Europa League as well. Uh, apparently, this might probably be a useful signing. He'd be a leading Van Broek's Premiership player. I'm going to keep scouting him, because I'm not sure about that. Because centre-back-wise, I'm not really... We're not really in that much of an issue. See, because of the short transfer budget we've got, really, I'm more interested in actually getting in free agents because that's probably the best way I'm going to get uh, multiple people in. I wonder, actually, if I go to the player list here and then forget the contract expired, let's try... Uh, let's try transfer status is listed. Um... Let's see, these are all the strikers that they've got up for bids at the moment. I know Dermic is quite a decent player, actually. Let's scout Josip Dermic, and let's... Uh, I'll scout this guy, Akuri Wright, as well, if that's how you say it. And, yeah, I'll, I'll scout out some people. Um, we might as well have a look at what we've actually got in this. Uh, and here we go, this is what I didn't want, so let's... So well, let's get rid of all the attributes that I was looking at. So let's get rid of those for the time being. Let's just have a look at the list then of who we've potentially got. Uh, mm, see, he looks quite decent. A big target man though. Quite similar to our Morelos. I just had a look at him, didn't I? Uh, I'm not going to look at him. Tom Elliott rings a bell. Yeah, big target man down at Millwall. This is for 600,000 wanted by Swansea, so he's probably at a good level for this league. Who's Dominic Samuel? Hmm. Got some interesting ones. I'm not. Let's get the where, Let's get the age down. Let's get it down to yeah, 25. Uh, and maybe actually, then this is the best way to do it. Let's also get just off striker. Let's just have a look at what deals there are kicking around that I might be interested in. Uh, the Edu Exposito bloke looked really good. He did look really good. I and mean, he's come through as a good signing on my um, scout report. His agent would command a high fee, and I don't really have that. He is working to do and improving his crossing, but he really won't be crossing that much because he's going to be out in the centre. But it'll also be a peripheral figure when he gets here for the social group, so he's not a great fit in that respect. Just have a little look around as well. Well, Jack Wills, at least we can guarantee we'll have some good fashion going on. He's 16 years old, so it's worth a scout. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Well, who's this boy? Ify Betch. See, I quite like players that have got good utility, and Ify Betch here looks... He might just be a good fill-in. He's at rallied at 1.9 million, but we could buy him for 950. I'll have a little look at him, but mainly that's because if he can play either wing... That usually is a good sign. Same with Anthony Ford here. I'll scout him as well. He's very cheap. But I don't want to sign players just for the sake of it. Although if he's a good like kind of backup to help bring the squad um, up, then I'll do that. Jed Steer. I know Jed Steer is quite a good goalie, to be fair. So we'll definitely scout him. Uh, I wonder maybe if there's other people in some of the teams I know that I might be able to have a look at. 
Could get Micah Richards in actually. That's a that's a shout. Well, no, his wage is like 50k. There's no chance of that. Mark Bunn. No, he's at 33 now. I like having a little look around like, all the teams that I kind of know of. Just to see who's going to be... Oh, see, now, Tahita Chong would be brilliant, but there's no way we're going to be able to get him in because I can't loan in any of the players at the top for the time being. We'll see what the scout reports come out with the other ones and see what they uh, see what they say. I'm going to hand it over to my... Uh, Assistant Manager to do the pre-match tactical briefing for our home game against Scoopy. And let's go to the lineup. Uh, oh, good, it's not saved my lineup from last time, which is good. Did I save it? I did, yeah, Rangers first team. So let's click that. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, okay, so Scott Arfield, I'm not going to play it today. We can give that to Clink. I'm just going to swap him around a little bit here. Uh, see, I'm already lacking players in the middle so what we'll do is we'll do it like that yeah that'll work uh, and then I can't have Murray lost playing so Kyle Lafferty is going to go up front and da, da, da. let's get Candeas on the bench as well yeah we'll, I still want to play our 5-3-2 formation so let's go with that and see how we get on Right, so in terms of the lineup then, from the last time that we played, uh, you've got Jermaine Defoe's come in, uh, so it's Polster, um, doo -doo 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 -doo, and that's pretty much the only real changes that we've actually made. They look like they're playing a very similar team. I just kind of want to get this game out of the way, because I think we all know that we're actually through. So let's just quickly skip for it. This is all about building momentum, though, and getting the team to get into my way of playing, or the way that I perceive that we're going to be playing football. Uh, so away we go. Let's Let's do it, lads. Yeah, good. Everything is on as it should be. And we're already away here at our first game at Ibrox. Is Andy Halliday. He actually scored, I think, didn't he, in the last episode? Thank you so much as well for the support on the last episode. I got a lot of views on it straight away. A lot of people, um, even not in the comment section, but a lot of like friends and stuff that watch it have all given me a lot of feedback. So they, they really, really enjoyed it. So thank you very much. Uh, I'm hoping that obviously I'll get better kind of at the commentating as we go because <laughs> um, yeah let's face it it can't get any worse than it is right now so hopefully I'll get a little bit better at it and then the series get even more and more enjoyable. I get the impression that as soon as we start making some signings and moulding the team and actually get into the domestics this could actually be a really interesting save for me. I really like the idea of taking Rangers back to their former glory as Andy Halliday whips a great cross in here. Carl Lafferty heads it just over the bar and we're only two minutes in so this could be a long day for Scoopy. I got a really, really itchy shoulder today. I don't know what it is, but it feels a bit like I'm just being bitten a lot because obviously it's summertime and all the insects are coming out, and I just feel like I'm being bitten loads, and it's very, very annoying. I do love a good scratch, though. To be fair, like I don't know about you, but what's the most like I was gonna say? What's the most pleasurable thing that you can do to yourself? But let's not go into that. Um, like yeah, your kind of guilty pleasures. If you've kind of got one, let me know. It's not very football manager related, is this? Ah, good. Ko Kovic is or Ko Ko Kochev. Kochev. I don't know why it took me so long to figure out how to pronounce that. Slobodan Kochev has been sent off within 20 minutes. This is going to get very bad for Scoopy. There's Koulibaly. He smashes one uh, into the corner. A lovely goal from outside the box. Lasana Koulibaly. That is a wonderful effort. So I'm looking at his stats, actually. He's got some really good stats. He's definitely going to be playing more often than I thought. I didn't realise just how good he actually is. That is an insanely good finish from Koulibaly here. Lovely ball over by Kamara. And Koulibaly just hammers it. What a goal that is. Yeah, he's a very good player. I didn't realise just how good he actually is. I've done him a bit of a disservice. Post has got an injury. Of course, everyone I've got has got an effing injury in some variety, shape or form. Connor Goldson throws it to James Lafferty. He's uh, very different to Kyle Lafferty. Uh, Polster on the ball into Koulibaly to Kamara. Oh, it's another worldie. Glenn Kamara smacks one in. And Koulibaly and Kamara just linking up perfectly. Both have assisted each other and scored a goal each. Incredible. What an effort this is. Tavernier here. Good ball into Polster. He just back kills it to Koulibaly. He tees up Kamara. Not even takes a touch. It looks like he toe punts that. In that case, it's the most incredibly powerful toe punt I have ever seen. 
And uh, we are 6 up on aggregate and it's still not over as Tavernier whips in a corner. And a good take by the keeper there. Well done, mate. Nemuski, I think his name is. Well, that's how you pronounce it. I've got something in my eye there. It's just so emotional. We're playing so well. Kamara's got to pick that up there. Lovely touch. Beautiful control. He finds Tavernier. Go on. Good ball out there by Tavernier to Andy Halliday, who's absolutely thriving here on the left-hand side. We're knocking it around here like we're blooming Manchester City. As James Tavernier he dances through, he's absolutely clattered uh, by Yanevsky, Ye and he's got himself a yellow card. It is a penalty, and it looks like Kyle Lafferty is going to step up to take it for his fourth goal of the season. Underneath the keeper, it's 3-0, not even half-time, but we are cruising, and I love it. I'm liking the way that we're set up here. Lovely finish there by Carl Lafferty. Scenes. 11 shots we've had, and it, it's only going to get worse for them, you feel. I think what I might do actually go team instructions. What we're going to do, we'll lower the tempo, lower the tempo much though, keep it short, be more disciplined. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but I want to retain now as much as I can in terms of just keeping, keeping everyone uh, fit and healthy. That's got to be the plan now. That has to be the plan. Half time and it's 3 0. Absolute scenes. Oh, I'm going to assertively say, uh, I'm very happy with the way things are going. Well done, lads. They like that. I'm going to take Polster off because he could get a bit further in injury. And I'm going to bring on uh, McCrory. And I think I'm also. Carl Lafferty can't play as a centre forward, apparently. What's that about? Uh, we'll get him playing as a target man then instead. I haven't even looked at that. That's, that, that's the quality of attention to detail that I show. Uh, in this game. Usually I am very much on it, but obviously Carl Lafferty wasn't part of my number one setup. Usually it's Murray loss, so I'll just have to play Carl Lafferty in a, a role he's more suited to, it's safe to say. It's all going very well. I'm very pleased, actually. Well, I'm going to take Andy Halliday off. He's had a very good game. We'll bring on John Flanagan and maybe I will actually no apart from that I'm going to keep it as it were it'd be nice to see if we can get Jermaine Defoe on the score sheet get him his first goal for Rangers which would be quite nice I'm a big fan of shouts in the game as well but I don't I have like a kind of like certain almost like rhythm to how I do it into certain situations I always say get creative at the start or when I feel like we're kind of lulling through the game. I always say get creative because it kind of just gives them a little bit of license to kind of do what they want. Most players seem to react to it quite well. So I always find that that's a very good tactic to start with. And then if things are getting a bit hard or you feel like you're kind of just like lulling through the game and you want a bit more, then obviously you demand more. And if you're really angry, you just show some passion. Because um, usually I'm showing lots of passion. I don't know if you can tell from any of the other saves or videos you've seen of me, but I'm a very passionate man when it comes to football manager. I get irritated very easily. As uh, Connor Goldson hits the bar with a rifle of a volley, uh, but didn't quite go in. The second half is absolutely flying by, and John Flanagan still managed to get himself booked. Well done, mate. Some things never change, do they, Jono? What we got, then? Just making sure I can still see my face on the camera. I'm so sorry about that. One minute to go, and it's all over. A lovely, comfortable 3-0 win here at Ibrox. I'm going to say to the boys, calmly, well done. That was a very good win indeed. Sorry to kind of like fly through that one. But I'm just trying to get to the kind of games that are really going to matter. We know that, that we're going to do that. Oh, and interestingly, we actually play Genk in the, um, in the next round of the Europa League. Interesting. Okay. Do my post-match conference. Uh... So we fancy our chances against the remaining teams. I'm going to say Glenn scored a wonderful goal. Koulibaly was actually very good to be first. I'll say he had a solid game and I expect to see more of that. Uh, so we probably won't make it to the Premiership looking at it now because obviously I've now got two games against Genk which are kind of like more important. I don't really know what to do with the Europa League when it comes to Rangers because obviously it helps get additional money into the coffers. And if we actually have a look at our finances, the balance isn't actually that bad. We've got £18 million, and we've already made a profit of £6 million. I think it's more the fact at the moment that we've just... I don't know. I just feel like the board are holding out on us a little bit, maybe because they want to see how I get on. I'm not 100% sure. But I've got money, sort of money, to spend, but not as much as I'd like. Hopefully I want to get to the stage where I can buy players like Taliso, as we saw on the right-hand side there. I doubt that's ever going to happen, just as a heads-up. I'm going to praise James Tavernier for having a very good uh, 
Good training. So he's glad he's noticed. I've noticed you lots, mate. It's fine. Uh, there's not been no changes to the squad, so no need to change who's registered for the uh, the game against Genk. Squad numbers to be decided. I always end up kind of just going by what I'm told. Who's number 16 at the moment? I want to keep Scott Arfield on. I'll keep Scott Arfield on my side. So he's going to be number 16. And I'll give definitely give Jermaine Defoe number number 18 because he he likes number 18. And oh god, I can't have Glenn Kamara being in number nine. Sorry, I just can't. He can be number twenty-six. Okay, there we go. So the number nine shirt is still up for grabs. Very good indeed. I've been quite I'm quite enjoying the start to this save, actually. In all fairness, the only thing I'm a bit annoyed about is the lack of transfers. Because let's face it, that's one of the most enjoyable parts of FM, and I'm not used to not being able to make lots of signings and working on a budget unless it's in a non-league capacity. The problem that you've got with Rangers is that you don't have a lot of money, but you need to make quite good signings for the level that you're at to maintain the sort of standard. So I'm finding it very difficult to be able to do that at the moment. Uh, I know that Yara Widerwald would be a great signing, but there's no way I'm going to be able to get him. Uh, I can't also get Jeffrey Schlupp either. We've got a couple of players in there for the top goal scorer award. Alfredo Morelos and Jermaine Defoe both in there, uh, along with some of the Celtic boys, Arsene Eduard, Lee Griffiths, and Boyo. <laughs> Bio, sorry. Bio. God, he looks good. He looks very good. Big, physical, annoying. Cool. The club has sold 47,000 uh, season tickets. That's amazing. We have a friendly today, I think, against Dynamo Kiev. So let's hopefully get through that unscathed, please. It's always good when you get one email. They ease to victory. Not as good. Oh, but then they have got Diskankov, who is just ridiculous in this game. So I'm not as annoyed. And they're a Champions League team, to be fair, as well. All right, okay, let's have a look then. So this is the boy that's at Micheland. And they said that he could potentially be really, really good. We don't have to pay anything for him, and I can get him on a, fr I can get him on a free for only one k a week. And he could get. So I'd like the potential ability to be higher, but he could improve a lot in the future. What position and role can he play? Left forward at the moment. He's very good at going past his man. He's got a good sporting attitude. He might not fit into the team to start with, but he's so young that maybe that's not a problem. I'm going to keep scouting him, but he's definitely one that I'm looking at maybe as a future signing. Isaksen looks quite good, especially if we can get him for free. I'd like that. Uh, Morelos and Jermaine Defoe are both uh, regarded in the top player. It's very safe to say, actually, that I think the idea is that we're meant to finish second. So if we look at the media predictions, actually, is it here that you can look at the media predictions? Uh, where is it? Ah, there it is. Season preview. Uh, yeah, no, we are odds on with Aberdeen just behind us to finish second and Celtic to win it. We have got Scott Arfield in a predicted team of the year as well. This game against Genk could be quite tough, actually. They're not a bad club and they haven't got a bad side. I know that for a fact. So this could actually be quite difficult. Liverpool have signed Kendiz under. It's good for you. I wonder if there's any players from the Premier League that we can nick. The problem I've got here is that we've already done out all the loan signings. And there's players that I would automatically like to go for. Like I'd love to have got Ben Woodburn on a loan. But I can't. Or Rian Brewster. Or just some of these players would look really good. But I just can't go and afford them. Because we've used up all our loans. And there are some loans that I'm not particularly happy about either. Uh, our injury update. It's getting a little bit better. Ross McCrory and Matt Pulsar should be fine. 11 days to 4 weeks for Morelos. That's the one I'm really keeping an eye on at the moment. Um, we haven't got... Oh, okay. We've got Morelos and Nikola Katic as the young player. Like, odds-ons. That's quite good. I, see, the one thing I noticed about the Rangers squad straight away is that they're not all mass, They're not all really young, but they're not really old. We've kind of got a lot of people that are right, like, kind of in their prime at the moment. I've already sorted out my backroom stuff. I don't really need anyone else, in my opinion. Uh, squad bonuses. I'm just going to go normal for everything. Because after this year, I'll kind of be able to figure out who I actually think is actually quite decent. Who we can actually get. This is interesting, then. So there's a guy here called... We've got a few scout reports. So let's have a read through them. Abu Bar. 
325 to 700 K. He's a midfielder, 19 years old, to Nancy Lorien. Scarport doesn't give me any pros. Needs to learn the language. Agent would do a commander high fin. Is very one footed. He's got some alright stats to start with. I'm going to keep scouting him because he said he, he can play at our level already, which is good. But midfield isn't really where I've got the issues. We're definitely going to keep scouting. Actually, we're not because I can tell already that he's he could reach it in the future. I don't have time to wait for that at the moment. Um, as in, like, I don't with the forwards. I need kind of an out and out forward really like now. I don't. Anyone that's going to be below like three star in terms of that, I'm not interested in. This boy looks quite good then. What's his stat? See, 1.5 million is quite expensive. It's quite a lot to come out of my budget. So we'll keep scouting him because these are all quite early scouting. This looks a bit more like it. I had a feeling that Dermic might be someone that we could have a look at. But the estimated wage is really high. It means it wouldn't leave me any room to sign anybody else. But I mean, you look at that. For acceleration fit. He's quite well rounded. He's six foot tall. He's finishing 15. It's very good. Uh, so we'll carry on with that. Same with right. Although he's very cheap. Now he is a good one. He's very cheap. 225k. Wages are a lot shorter. He's only 24 years old. Would be a good signing. What's he got then? Six foot two. So he's a bit taller. Maybe I can just get through the season just with Morelos, Lafferty, and um, and Defoe. Now he looks very good because he's six foot and he obviously suits the target man, I'd assume. Pressing forward, okay. He's 24 as well. I'm interested in Wright out of all that. I'm definitely interested in him. Uh, I'm having a look at some of the other ones that we've come through. Who's this then? Wilfred Kanga. I'll acknowledge that one. I'm not too worried about him. Scout him. Scout him. Hmm. Jonathan Meyer. What positions can he play? Okay, he's a left back then, so he's a nitrile for Phil Murter. Andy Halliday. He could apparently play at our level at the moment. Only 18 years old. 1 million to 2.4 million pounds. His wage isn't astronomical. I do need another left back. Works well with a team, couple of natural positions, balance, normal personality is good. You won't fit into any social groups yet, but that's because we haven't really made any signs from that region. I'll keep scouting him, but I'm definitely interested in him. Steven Kingsley would be good. He'd definitely be very good, actually. He might be a better shout, but he's six years older. I'm not sure about that. I'll keep scouting him as well. I want to get to know all these players. Uh, Valeringa, nah. I'll acknowledge that I'm not too worried about the keeping situation at the moment. I'm very happy with the fact that we got Conor McGregor. And um, I can't even remember who the other reserve keeper is. I'm still getting to know my Rangers squad. But I'm, I'm relatively content with that. I think we got a lot to look forward to here, though. Let's just go back to the respawn. There are a couple of players in there that I was quite excited about. Got a couple of players in there I was really excited about. Obviously, Jack Butland's number one on their their list, but I'm not as worried about that. See, Dermich I thought was quite good. He's been bidding for this boy then. See, he's meant to be very good, but is that really what I need to be having a look at? Exposito is the one that's ki that's that's really confusing me at the moment because I know that he could be very good, but I don't know. I don't know. Now where's the player I could get for free? I can't remember his name. He's down here somewhere because he's the one that plays in um. Daniel Gabriel. He looks quite good as well. Abu Bars. Where is he? Ah, there it is. Gustav Isaacson. I reckon... I reckon I go for this boy. As a nice early signing. I am going to approach to sign him. He wants to be a rotation straight away. There's going to be no yearly wage rises of that. There is no doubt. There'll be none of that. I'm going to reduce the wages down. You can be paid 1.2. And then... A lock in the signing fee as well. Fairly promising start. Okay, well, you're only going to... I'll go maximum of 1.6 for money. 
and I'm going to lock these in as well. Appearance fee can go down to 400. I'll lock that in. He wants 1.8. I'm going to knock down the unused substitute fee because the likelihood is that he will be one. And then I'm going to knock that down to 1.4 again. Magic. As far as I'm concerned, there, I've saved myself some money. And we've got a good player that could come in as a rotation. Wonderful stuff. Good. Okay, that's the first one then that I'm quietly quite content with. Okay, good. Be nice just to get at least one body in, which would be nice. Uh, oh, we kind of got a couple of offers here. Oh no, Shalper have made an offer for him. There's no way he's going to come to us, is there? All right, okay. Let's change the contract offer because I do really want him. So we'll go up to that, and then we'll bump it up to 3k if he plays that many games. I would suggest. Everything appears to be in order. He might come to us just because I don't think Schalke will play him, but I think he knows that we actually would. Uh, I've had an offering for da Danny Finlayson. I'm going to let him go out on loan. I've got no issue with that. Can they afford to pay him £600 in wages? £20. Okay, 20% 20 is enough. Uh, and who's this then? Jack Thompson. Um... Yeah, we got enough midfield options. Uh, who is it? Airdrie. Can you guys pay 1200 I doubt it. 30%. So they can pay £350. A, it's good. Anywhere where I can save money, I will do. I'm very I'm very stringent with my money. And we got our first game as well against Genk. Uh, we're at home to start with, which I'm not sure I'm particularly comfortable with. But we'll have to roll with it. Uh, Scott Arfield looks like he is back and fit. So I'm going to put... Yeah, he's going to sit in the middle as the deep blind playmaker. Is he? Or is he going to go box to box? I might do this. I might get Kamara in that role. Instead of the Mazar, let's go ball winning midfielder on support and try that instead. Kyle Lafferty can be the... Let's try him as a pressing forward. I've never really tried the pressing forward so far in the game because I know that they don't do particularly that well uh, in the game. We'll get him off. And yeah, yeah, I think we'll go along with that. We'll go along with that. It's good to see that the green line's already in there for the defenders. It's good. That means that they're already developing a really good understanding. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all these guys off the um, additional subs. Because I don't like it. It's my little bit of OCD treatment that I have. I can't have that going on. Ah, see, they've got the boy who went to, um, it's gone to Brighton Trossard. So it'll be interesting to keep an eye on him in the game. Obviously, I haven't seen him in real life yet. But they've got some quite decent players there. And he's the one that we really need to watch out for. So let's go to the dressing room. Team taught and say assertively, I expect a good result in the first leg. They aren't as sure. I'm pretty sure. Let's try and... I think we can do this. I, I think that if we can get out of this with a clean sheet, I'll be very happy. Come on, boys. Let's go for it. We created lows in the first, in the last last game that we played, so let's hope that we have a similar performance today. As Glenn Kamara gets himself booked within the first two minutes, which is good. It's not. It's terrible. What are you doing, mate? We're flying through at the moment. Ten minutes, not a highlight. I'm going to wait before I start doing my shouts. Ah, here we go. Corner. We're quite strong from set pieces. Tavernia whips it in. And it's cleared away by Lutani at the moment. That camera angle is making me feel a bit ill. Um, Goldson into Kamara. Lovely. Kamara to Goldson. Plays it back to Kamara. We've got some good pressing going on here. Kamara into Arfield. Lovely ball from Arfield to Andy Halliday. Andy. Oh, I thought he was going to chip that into the middle there. Now it looks like Genk are going to get a chance here as Samata gets on the ball. We've got ourselves back into a nice shape. I'm liking the way that this looks. Heinen on the ball. Go on, Scott. Get to him. Mm, Trossard. This is where the danger happens. It's a good ball over to Ndongala. Ndongala to Samati. Hits it wide. From Rangers' pressure to a swift counter-attack, Genk have made a very good start to the game. You can tell by the stats here. Not a lot on target, but they're playing some good stuff. I'm going to shout and get creative. Go on, boys. Let's get a bit creative. Tavernia over another corner. Whips it in. Lafferty. Oh, it's just over the bar. Unlucky from Kyle Lafferty. Better. I like that. Nearly 30 minutes gone. We're, do we're doing enough. I think... Oh, hello. Andy Halliday has got himself a book in. Mal oh, my God. Malinowski. Good save there by Conor McGregor. Oh, he didn't save it. I thought Conor McGregor. Ah, can you put a corner out your arse? Uh, no, that is... 
not a great impression of Conor McGregor. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I actually can't. I thought I could do quite a good impression, and by the time I, I'd already said it, it's terrible. Just forget what I said. I do like Conor McGregor. To be fair, I think he's a bit of a character, to say the least. Looks like it's going to be nil nil half time. Oh, or is it Andy Halliday? It's it to foe. Oh my God! Jermaine used to lap those up at Tottenham. Doesn't matter. He was offside anyway. Good free kick by Handy Halliday there, but he's not playing particularly well. Only at seven, six point four at the moment. I was gonna say if I said, oh, it's not playing very well at the moment. He's only playing at a seven. I, I die for a seven right now. Just not a five point seven. Nail it at the break, two bookings each. It's probably about as exciting as it's been, really, isn't it? I'm going to certainly say, I'm not happy, actually. I'm not pleased with how the team's been playing there. But I'm going to say I've got a lot of faith, because Katic looks like he was a little bit upset, and I don't like that. So I've made him feel a bit better about himself. I don't like the fact that Carl Lafferty's barely been involved in the game, so I'm going to get him playing. Get a player as a poacher, mate. Maybe he should be the other way around. Just Defoe at his age should really be a poacher, and Carl Lafferty should probably be the advanced forward. Because he's still got some legs on him. There we go. Katic then for our first highlight of the second half. Nah, that's a great throw, mate. Well done. And dog bit. Oh my. Oof. <clears throat> God, I thought Kamara just got himself bloody sent off there. I would not have been pleased. Katic. Good boy. The top looking for Jermaine Defoe. That first touch is quality still. Finish is not so good. Not so good from Jermaine there. Uh, I'm going to take off Kamara and we're going to bring on Stephen Davis and then get him playing as a deep line playmaker. It's a role he's very suited to as well. I don't like the amount of bookings that we're picking up. Uh, we are quite a physical side, it's safe to say. We're a bit robust. Ultimately, I'm quite happy as long as we don't concede in the way yard, I'll be relatively happy. But Malinowski has found a good ball to Berg here. Looks like he's setting up for a shot and he's sent it back to Mail at the back. You've got Mail. Uh, Malinowski, I make comments like this a lot when I'm trying to make pop culture jokes. So if you hear a lot of them and they're not very good, I am terribly sorry. I cut out all the really terrible ones in my other videos. <coughs> oh god, I'm talking too much. Great play by Andy Halliday there, and Carl Lafferty's for as I try not to die choking. Lafferty? That is not worthy of a highlight at all, and I'm crying on camera. It's too emotional. Liverpool lost the Charity Shield today as well, so... Charity Shield, Community Shield, whatever you want to call it. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, right, I'm going to take off... I'm going to take our field off. We're going to go for a little bit of a change in formation here. I'm going to go to that 5 2 3 I, I love so much. Uh, so we're going to get Kent on the left, Kandeas on the right, Kyle Lafferty in the middle, and he can now play on the advanced forward. Uh, so yeah, Defoe and Arfield coming off. Got to try and keep, protect them and keep them fresh. This isn't an ideal result. Really, I need a goal. We need to try and take a lead back to Belgium if we can. So I've told the boys to get creative, but I can't see it doing much, in all fairness. <clears throat> I'm still trying to recover from the fact that I nearly choked on air, which is very difficult to do. It's a talent that I'm not sure I want, but I feel privileged to have it. I am rambling something chronic right now. Come on, Andy. Focus, Andy. It's my Andy Murray impression. Focus. It looks like it's going to be a nil-nil here, unless Genk come up with something in the last 30 seconds or so. As You've got mail. Gets on the ball and plays it to Berg. He takes his time doing a little bit of a skip. Looks like he's getting ready to do some boxing. Same with Heinen. They've all got it going on at the moment. It's like little hop, skip and jumping going on. Heinen into Denor. That is a terrible ball, but he's managed to keep it in. Denor into Tot... I was going to say Tosser. Uh, Trossard there. Denor to Heinen. And it's all over. A nil-nil. We... Seemed pretty good at the back. Going forward, not a lot going on there. I'm going to say... You're unlucky tonight. Few of the players lost focus. I'm going to say midfield. I'm happy with your playmaking efforts. Defensively, I'm happy with your solid defensive work. A lot of lost focus. That is a terrible team talk. It's not gone well. I tried to fix it. I made it worse. Well, apparently, we held them to a draw. So, it looks like we're actually the underdogs in all this. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of possession, but I actually thought we played pretty well. McGregor was good. 
Carl Lafferty wasn't very good. So even the best players have bad days. Nicola was outstanding. Katic does look like a very good player, actually. I think we got a quite decent centre back in him. I'm just a little bit concerned. Just a little concerned. Oh god, Monaco have made an Isaksen offer. I should have got in there earlier. I pissed about and waited too long before I put the offer in for him. I'm hoping that he'll come to us just because he knows that he's gonna get some game time. It's good to know that Stephen Kelly's injured as well. Just carry on. We just get injury after injury after injury. Why stop now? Criticise Alan McGregor because he's poor training, say. Not good? Good. There's a good lad. Come on, mate. Up it. Up it, up it, up it, up it. Ooh. We've got our first pro uh, what was it, premiership game coming up against Aberdeen away. Yes! Sorry. <laughs> that was really loud. Sorry, headphone users. But Isaacson wants to sign for us. And considering the teams that were in for him, I am 100% going to take that. He will be our first signing of the save. Magical stuff. Uh, yeah, that's fine. A lot for this Danny Finlayson bloke. So obviously he's got something good about him. I'm looking forward to seeing Isaacson and what his stats are actually really like. He's an exciting prospect who isn't far from first team level. First thing we're going to do is send him on a course. I'm going to ask Tavernier to greet him as well. Uh, yeah, if you could, mate, get him introduced to the side, that'd be absolutely magic. Let's have a look at him then. Quite a decent little winger here, actually, I have to say. He's got good acceleration, decent pace, decent dribbling, decent finishing. It's because he's 17 years old that I'm actually quite excited by how good he could be. He's 5 for 8, and he's quite small, but he should get a bit bigger, obviously. And you can tell now the potential ability has absolutely rocketed up. Uh, to four stars now, which would make him the best uh, attacking midfielder on the left, at least, in the team. I really hope that I get Jamie Murphy back soon, but I won't get him for another 13 or 14 months. It just feels like a waste of money right now. I know it said that he was suited to a championship level, but I'm actually going to play him at a higher level, I think. We are going to play him in and amongst the first team, because it will hopefully speed up his... Um, it will just speed up his development, and that's the most important thing. Okay, so Akram Afif looks quite good. This is the one I was interested in. Beck, 25-year-old midfielder, can play either side. Yeah, I mean, this guy looks very good. This guy looks very good. 950k, extremely interested. Could possibly get better. He can play left and right. Oh, I, d I know we're not playing wings at the moment, but this would allow me to play them. It's only I don't play them because we don't have a lot of actual depth in that position. I'm going to put an offer in. They say 950. I'm going to go for 650. Okay, what if I add a percentage of the next sale on? I will go at 20%. I'm trying to save money where I can here. Okay, I'll tell you what. They've gone 650 and 30. I'll go 650 and 20. They've bounced up to 625. I'll go back down to 650. 720 percent i i'll i'll take that i will take that uh another one for finlayson we'll go with that 100 yeah that's fine i don't i never actually do press conferences for when we reveal players because it's just a, it's just one more that i can avoid to be honest um i don't think we're gonna go for andy forstein whoever he is it looked like a out of contract french player uh, I've put us now in order of recommendation, so we can have a look and see here exactly who's voted as some of our best assets. I like the idea of Dermich. I won't lie, I like the idea of Dermich. And Abu Bar is this very good actually. Yeah, he's 20 years old, dirt cheap. Yeah, we could. Mm, he looks like a very good player as well. He looks very good. Who's he wanted by? Bordeaux and Nice as well. They're, they're teams that are around about our level, so it's a it's a tough one here. It's a tough one. I don't want to be just the normal one like they do in Scotland where you literally just kind of go and pick like off the other teams in the league, which is what it seems to tend to do. This boy looks quite good as well. He's, he's more potential though as Chris Hamilton more than anything else. I need some players this year that are going to be able to come into the squad and do a job now. I've kind of bought Isaacson as my kind of signing for the future. 
So what I'm really looking for is I'm looking for someone I can get now that is going to make us better. I really like the look of this boy. I really like the look of Wright. He looked very good, but he is 24. He maybe he's a bit old. He's not. He might not get any better than that. Tough to say. I always come back down to looking at Adu Exposito. And maybe after that last game, watching that, maybe it is something that we're lacking. I'm going to make an offer. And what I might do, actually, is can I exchange... Can I maybe maybe I can exchange one of the players that I I know that I'm not really gonna play. I don't really have anyone that I don't think I'm not going to play. We've got, we've got a lot of depth in the midfield, but a lot of it's on loan. And a lot of it's on loan. Can I get him cheaper? If I get him for maybe one million pounds, I'd accept that. Okay, so they'll do it if you can take a percentage of next sale. Sorry, my phone just lit up there, and I was wondering why. Uh, 1.3, 1.4. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to give them half the profit from the next sale. So th that's a no go for the time being. That's on the back burner, the Exposito one. So Ufa Beck, if I take that down, because he want his wage is quite high. Actually, it's higher than I thought it would be. And I don't like the look of that. That's very high. Get that down to one. That's very high as well. No, 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 no. Go to that, please. And let's see if I can. I'll risk 9k. 13 and a half. He's disappointed with the start to the negotiations. Let's go 10. 11. 11k. I'll take that as well. I think that's another good signing. Because I am working obviously on the 4 2 3 1 formation in the background. I think that's quite a decent signing. We've got the Betfred second cup. I think this is like the League Cup version in it. And we've got Aloha, who are in the Championship. So that's okay. We can live with that. It's also Ibrox, which is good. Training schedule. All good, all good, all good. And then we just got to try and get through. What I'd like to do is I'd like to play the next Genk one. Uh, we play that game. And then what I can do is we can have a look going forward. Uh, to the championship before we happening next. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this boy, Matthew Bari. He'll probably need a work permit though, but hopefully it won't be that hard to get one. Uh, choosing a Rangers captain for the season. Uh, James Tavernier is in there. Um, I think then, yeah, let's get. I'm going to warn Tavernier about losing the captaincy. And he said that's fine. He's uh, he thinks I'm probably right in what I'm saying. So Alan McGregor will be captain now. And Conor Goldson's going to be the vice captain, which I think is fair enough. Uh, da, 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 da. What we got then? Yeah, we'll train him as a right back. No need for that. Yeah, we'll train up Glenn Kamara as a deep line playmaker as well because I feel that's. Oh. Sorry about that. Um, it's just my alarm to let me know when I was meant to finish recording. Um, but I think what I might do is I might. Actually, no, what we'll do then, we will stop here because I don't want the episodes to always be over an hour long. I want to get maybe between 30 and 45 minutes. So we've hammered Eastley. What we'll do is we'll get to the start of the Genk game. Uh, it means that we put ourselves in a good position. We obviously have played two games today. We've got a big away tie against... Uh, oh, God, Greg Taylor looks good. I think I signed him, didn't I? I signed him for Villa. Did I sign him for Villa? I did sign him for Villa. Yeah, I remember him. Um, so I don't know why I went so high there. But that's good. Oh, here we go then. Before anything, do we sign Beck? Do we sign him? What I'm going to do, I'm going to delay it. I'm going to delay it by a week. I'm going to delay it by a week and let's see what happens. And yeah, we'll get to the Genk game. But then what I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to save up here, which means in the next episode we can finally kick into like the competitive start of the season where we'll have our first championship game and we'll also see if we can get past Genk. Uh, oh, I could get Jed Stiff for three hundred and twenty-five k. Oh, that's a good sign. That's a potentially good signing. Let's just quickly scout out these boys. Scout that. I do like the look of this bar boy as well, but I don't think we really need any more midfielders. 
Maybe apart from an attacking midfielder, there's no way I'm getting this boy, but he's definitely one for the future. Uh, and now I'll do my hand over to assistant manager. I like the fact that we're defensively solid. That's the most impressive thing. Uh, and I won't do the draw now. We'll wait until the start of the next episode before we do the draw for the best place third qualifier. I actually don't know what that means. I think it means it's like the best loser or something like that. So we'll see how that goes. But thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do like, share, and subscribe. Come back to the next episode where we might make the signing of Beck and maybe somebody else. And we'll have our first competitive game domestically against Aberdeen at least. Thank you so much for watching. Until I see you in the next episode of my complete playthrough series. Stay cool.